Hello, time travelers. Quick vlog this week. I've been working on my Nova, albeit very slowly, when I get motivation and I figure out what it needs next, because I need to get the fender off, but I need to move stuff off of the fender. You're doing this slower than a tortoise. You know, I don't have anybody helping me, you if know? If you were doing it slower than a turtle, it wouldn't be horrible, but it's a tortoise. <laughs> Whatever. And it doesn't count if other me helps me, because that's just another copy of me. You know? It's just you doing it slightly faster, I guess. I guess. And it drains my energy faster when I'm in more than one place at the same time, I think. You think? This is my look of disapproval. Hey, this is a quick message from Future slash editing me. Charlie helped me and I moved the electrical stuff. In the effort of making my video shorter, decided to instead keep this video short and make that a separate video. Guys, you tell me what, what you think. Should I keep, you know, my video short like this and ha so I have more videos? Or sh do you like the longer style? Tell me in the comments below. But I am releasing uh, this video where Charlie and I work on the Nova's electrical stuff later this week. Well, I have been making a couple short videos so that I'm uploading something. And you, you watched them, right? Yeah. And they're freaking stupid funny, right? Yes. Like me having to walk and I was walking coming back from the bus and I saw this part of sidewalk that I was all tore up so I pretended like it was an archaeological find <laughs> and did a video on it. It's Columbus and Usa. It u u u <laughs> <laughs> I have to 1300 years. <laughs> Let's go to past me and talk about this week's tech thing which is actually a digital camera. Thank you future me. I've got this camera that I got off of Amazon. It's just a random tech thing, and I seem to be doing this more now that I have this YouTube channel. Because I seem to like just buying random things and talking about it for you guys to view and comment on, and maybe it helps you find something you're looking for. My first thoughts about the unboxing is that the camera itself looks very attractive. I didn't notice right away, but it doesn't have an optical zoom. Like, the front of this doesn't come out. It's just digital zoom, so there's that. And there's nowhere to mount a lens. So this supports what other reviewers on Amazon are saying about how this is a kid's camera. The battery and SD card slots are easy to access in one door at the bottom. I was able to use an SD to micro SD card adapter for my tests. It comes with a wrist strap, a USB mini B cable, which I think is better than micro B. It's harder to break and it's easier for kids to plug in and two 700 milliamp hour lithium batteries. It also comes with a nice cloth carrying bag. It's menu system, which might look weird at first. I actually liked because it has all the basics like exposure and white balance, although very simplified. I did some side-by-side -side testing with a Galaxy S6 because you can find one of those used for around the same price as this camera. This camera doesn't have a macro option, so you could tell right away that it can't focus on close-up things like flowers. And you can see that here in this side-by-side -side pic of me, where you can see the camera lets in more light than the cheap smartphone. Sometimes this is good or bad, as you could see from outside shots that I took. Note that on the camera, I had the exposure set to negative three because the sun was out. But on the smartphone, I left it with normal settings. I did a little video testing as well. Here's the flowers again, which look like they're out of focus just like in the pictures and here it is with the smartphone in this next test they were both on a tripod and i apologize for the shakiness because it was windy for this part but i did the testing in partial shade you can see that i still look good from the camera but the exposure isn't so good from the smartphone all of the shots with the smartphone look like there's more pixels though so higher quality there both this camera and an old used smartphone would have a learning curve depending on your knowledge of each system you could spend hours trying different camera apps and settings on a smartphone or just a few minutes learning the basic system on this camera and now for the scoring the build quality i give it a 10 out of 10 because it's sturdy and the door for getting at the battery and the SD card feels like it's not going to break off. And the port itself doesn't feel like it's going to wiggle around inside of there. And the buttons are easy to press and they're really tactile. Accessories and features, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It needs more features like focus and macro. Those are basic things. It 
does have face detection where it puts a little box on the screen, but it only works for faces. You need to be able to focus on other things. Film quality, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. It's not too grainy, actually, and I wish I had other things with this sensor. For example, like a pen that you could clip to your shirt, make it like a spy cam or whatever, or a security camera to put in the house. Those are a couple examples I can think of. Final score, I give this camera a 9 out of 10 because it would be great for kids learning photography without having to deal with the mess and confusion of a whole bunch of apps on iOS or Android. Thank you, past me. Uh, Charlie actually helped me with some of that because it, we were testing it side by side with a smartphone, as you know. And now, enjoy this random thing. This random thing, actually, Charlie sent it to me. He called it a dongle moment. <laughs> I don't know what context this has, or somebody just trying to see if it would work. It's like this USB cord. I don't think that's USB. Maybe they were trying to get USB to work on this laptop and they had to go through all these different things to get it to connect. Cause like that doesn't, you're right, it doesn't look like USB there. But on this end it looks like serial. And then he goes to parallel. And he's got a parallel coupler going back down to serial? To PS2? And then this, two couplers going to another PS2 thing and that PS2 thing goes to USB. Gotta get my files up my also, flash drive! And also there's like 15 stickers on the laptop. Intel inside something 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 something. And that's a Windows 10 sticker. <laughs> and Windows something. Alright. Now it's dad doke. Bleh. Dad now doke. It's dad doke. Dad joke time. This one comes from my dad. And he says, how did the zombie bodybuilder hurt his back? And I said, how? And he says, lifting dead weights. Get it? Get it! That one's actually kind of good. That one makes sense. Yeah, in some crazy stupid way. And now for the awkward end screen. Anybody want to help me with my Nova? Offer their time? Because having two heads is better than one, and I need to figure out how to rip off the fender. You already have two heads. Yeah, I'm talking about two, two brains that are not the same brain copied more than once. Because that's what it is with me and other me. I've got the fuel line moved. Now I'm going to move some electrical stuff, and I think the struggle of time is going to be taking that fender off. Then once the fender's off, I can take it to a mechanic to work on the suspension so that it can't complain about the fender being messed up. Oh, you got to take it to a body shop first. Other than that, I'm going to put some stuff on the screen for you guys to click because I have been doing some short videos. There's this one, and there's another one down there. And you can subscribe to my channel over here, and you can subscribe to my... Wait, 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 wait. Shut up! And you subscribe to my channel over there, and check out Charlie's channel. Tell him if you like his gaming stuff at his channel there. Thanks, bye.